James leaves this interesting and helpful comment on the Schumacher 2260 knot charging video. Hello, great video. I have the same unit. I attempted this repair because the battery wasn't charging. Once I got the unit open, I decided to check the voltage at the battery terminals with the battery removed and the unit plugged in. It read almost 13 volts across the terminals. It would have been better if we had read that with the battery connected. I figured the unit was working, but that the LED light was not. I put it back together and bought a new battery to replace the original six-year-old one. After replacing the battery, it was still not charging. I also discovered that the LED would come on if plugged in and the jump switch was turned on. Well, not shown in what's coming up, but I did check that and the green LED does come on when the jump switch on mine is turned on. So that would be normal. So the LED works, but not when plugged in as it should for a charge. Do you think the board is bad? Hate to abandon this unit. Well, here's what I would do to get to the bottom of your problem. Now it helps to know what to expect. So I've got the battery out of the unit, it's disconnected. I've got my leads here. They're not touching. That's the inverter ground. I've got that disconnected for another reason. Different problem. You don't have to do that. So, okay, let's go back here. Now we know this is the number one problem. Intermittent AC power jack. So I'm going to, we're over here connected on this power strip. going to plug in power and see what we should expect. No batteries in the unit. I turn on the power strip and green LED is blinking two blinks. So that is what you would expect with no battery connected. All right, I'm going to turn this off. Now I'm going to connect the battery and I'm going to use some test leads. Now before you use any test leads, very important to put your meter on ohms or diode test doesn't matter we'll leave it on diode test because we'll get a beep and make sure these things are not open because they've just put together with crimp connections and they're very unreliable unless you've taken the time to solder them so so i'm getting a beep now this one's good so i'm not going to get a false indication from it what about this one? Did I solder this one? Okay, it's good. So I know if it doesn't work, it's not because I've got bad test leads. So let's connect the battery now. Now I want to measure the voltage on this battery and put my meter on DC volts, grab my leads, we'll go across these terminals. What do we got? Battery is at 13.4 volts DC. All right, we're connected. Double check everything. Looks good. Power strip on and we get a solid green LED. That's what's expected. Now what's our charge voltage? All right, we'll put these probes back across the battery. Fifteen point three one volts. So we jump from 13 whatever we had to over 15 volts and that's your normal charge voltage 15 volts okay that's what we're supposed to get but you're not getting that so let's turn this off let's pull the plug all right we're safe 
let's disconnect our battery. And we'll look at our little power supply here. We got AC line voltage coming in on the white and black wire. So right here on this on this power supply, we should have AC line voltage across the black and white. In my house, that's over 120 volts. Just the other day I measured it, it was about 123 volts AC. That's what we would expect to see back there. If that's not present, you're not going to get the LED lighting up. So the LED is connected by this red and black wire. It goes right to here. And with the power connected and that LED on, we want 1.7 volts DC right here. That's the voltage you're going to read across the red and black here. 1.7 volts DC. Well, if your LED is not lighting, then it's either open or shorted, or you've got no voltage here. So the next thing we want to do... Oh, and then we'll talk about regular charging. Regular charging comes out of this connector. You would have 15 volts on the red and black wire. And so you can follow this all the way back. A little hard to see where it goes under here. Goes up to that connector. That board's going to be hard to get out. But okay, we want to make sure that this has power. But you're not even getting power here, so I don't think that your problem's on the other side of that connector. You're not even getting power here. So let's find out what's going on with that LED. So I'm going to drop this. Double check. Power's disconnected back here. This board is very easy to come out, lays right over. But what is so simple when you're just doing it with two hands, so difficult when you're trying to hold the camera. All right, board is out. Now, when we flip this over, right, LEDs right here, red and black wires on top, and come across here, come across right here. And they go to here, where it says LED. So we would want to examine these connections. Get out our magnifying glass, see what they look like. Remember that cracked solder joints, the number one cause of intermittent failures. So that's where the LED... And also, we're looking for... What we're doing now is called visual inspection. We're looking for brown marks, burnt marks, any obvious signs that something is wrong. If we were to power this up right now, we would expect to read 1.7 volts DC right here. We would be looking across this red and black wire that's right here. 15 volts DC across this. And obviously we want to make sure that we have our AC coming in here. Of course, we wouldn't want to be touching this if we're measuring AC voltage. Now, one of the problems that's so common has to do with cracked solder joints on any connector. And I'm surprised to see, even on my own unit, when I look at it right now, can I get this to show? Every one of these pins is cracked. So instead of nice, uniform, shiny joints here, they're cracked. And this is very difficult to see with the naked eye. Even difficult to see with this magnifier. Usually I have to use double magnification. So if you're having trouble and you can't measure, 
your 15 volts DC across the red and black wires here, then, or if you measure it intermittently, this connector would need to be re-soldered. I don't know what else to tell you. If, if you don't have voltage here, if you don't have 1.7 to light this LED, then you most likely have the same problem everyone else has, which is intermittent AC voltage coming into this thing. But I don't have your unit, so I can't say conclusively what's wrong with it. Hope this helps. Thanks for asking.